Glory be to Jesus. This is Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church International. It's a blessing again to come your way today with a word of hope. I believe that God is sovereign. I believe he rules in the affairs of men. And you are alive today so that he will fulfill his purpose in your life. You will not die before your time. You will not be a failure. You will not be put to shame. You will not be a subject of embarrassment. You will not be a laughing stock. In the name of the Lord Jesus, this morning I came to declare that your greatest fear will never come to pass. The will of God and the purpose of God will come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. I want to pray with you from Psalm 34 and the verse number 10. Psalm 34 verse 10, the scripture says, The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. What a blessing. What a good news. Young lions they will lack and they will suffer hunger. Even they, these animals that Jesus didn't die on the cross for. You see, God sent his only begotten son to die on the cross for humans, not animals. And even these animals, the Bible says he provides for them. How much more you who he paid a price for? A price that is so valuable that cannot be estimated or counted in terms of money. You can't quantify it in monetary terms. This is how much the Lord could spend for you. And the Bible says if he gave you his own son free of charge, then what is it in this world that he can give to you? And the scripture says even lions sometimes they will lack and they will suffer hunger. But those who seek the Lord, hallelujah, those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. This morning as you seek the Lord, as you step about to go about your day, I want you to focus on one thing. Seek the Lord in everything. That means that desperately go to the Lord and ask him to give you direction, to ask him to give you what you need. He is a God who provides, he protects, he he makes sure that it will be well with you. The Bible says you will not lack any good thing. The Bible says that it's a good thing. A he that finds a wife finds a good thing. So a wife is a good thing. A good job is a good thing. A good home is a good thing. A good health is a good thing. A good final is for good finances are good things these are all good things they are not evil things they are good things that God created for his people to enjoy those who are saved you too you qualify for this these things are not for unbelievers how could this great God create all this beautiful world all the wealth in the world and only unbelievers must enjoy it and believers must just stay in their small corner and live in in poverty and call it holiness it doesn't line up with the general you know, body of scripture. The Bible says when you seek the Lord, you will lack no good thing. I don't know what it is that you are looking for, but this morning I came to pray to you, for you in the name of the Lord Jesus, that God will hear you. Every good thing you stand in need of, may the Lord provide in the name of Jesus. The child that you need in the marriage, those who are married and hearing the sound of my voice that need children in their marriage in the name of Jesus the Bible says children are a good thing they are a gift from God I pray the Lord open that womb the Lord release that loin the Lord release whatever it takes in the name of Jesus to have to make you have your own children. I pray for marriages, for those whose marriages have been delayed. In the name of Jesus, every frustration that has caused delayed marriage, I pray that as you seek the Lord, this day may God open the door. May God position a man after his own heart for you, my sisters. The Lord position a woman after his own heart for you. In the name of Jesus, I break every family cycle and curse of delayed marriages. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray against every disease that doctors can't find any cure for. The Bible says Jesus moved about the whole of Galilee, preaching and teaching and healing all manner of sicknesses and every form of disorder. This morning I pray in the name of Jesus, every disorder from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, the Lord heal you in the name of Jesus for no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. The condition is walk uprightly in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. I pray for academic excellence for our students. Every disorder, every anomaly in the development of any child, I pray the hand of Jesus touch you right now and heal that daughter of yours. Heal that son of yours. Release their speech. Release their focus, their concentration. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray business breakthrough for the people of God that are hearing the sound of my voice this morning. I pray the Lord make provision for you. Financially, business doors be open. The Lord elevate you. The Lord establish you. The Lord open doors in the name of Jesus for that new job. Immigration doors be open. Immigration favors. Legal situations that you are dealing with. May God go ahead of you and open a door and settle that case for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray this morning that whatever you stand in need of, every good thing that must come to you, this morning I pray the gates be opened. I pray the heavens be opened. I pray the land be opened. Lift up your head, so ye gates of the land and be ye lifted up ancient doors that the king of glory shall come in. The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. May the Lord make provision for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you will not die a failure. I pray that you will not die before your time. I pray supernatural healing in the name of the Lord Jesus and I declare the word of God over your life. You shall not be barren nor miscarry in the land. The Lord shall take sickness from the midst of thee. In the name of Jesus, the number of your days God will fulfill. He will bless your bread and your water. I declare it shall be well with you today. In Jesus' most excellent and holy name. Amen and amen. Have a blessed and fruitful day. Bye-bye.